Hey guys, happy Friday. Excuse my, my baby was pulling my hair, y'all. Happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel. So today is, um, I'm going to do a couple of things different for the next couple of days. I'm going to show you two meals, first of all, two easy meals that you can make with ground turkey. The reason I chose ground turkey is because we bought, um, when we buy groceries for our large family, we typically always buy extra meat automatically, unless a store is out. Um, because that is the major thing that costs the most and um, we use a lot of. Um, rice can be stretched. We don't do a lot of beans. Um, I do a lot of fresh and frozen um, vegetables, not a lot of canned foods. Um, so when I buy, like going to Sam's Club, I bought this like months ago, probably before Thanksgiving. And here it is, we're on the 28th of January. And so, um, I decided, I'm like, you know what, instead of me going, because it's week um, two for us to do a grocery haul, <laughs> a grocery haul um, to stock up. And so my husband went and got some meats because meats have been kind of skimpy, but a lot of stuff is stacking back up. The only thing that I've been having trouble finding is those little Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. Um, I have not been able to find them at any store, but today when I went to do my personal items, my oven is ready for my sweet potatoes. Um, when I went to do my personal items shopping, um, because tomorrow we'll do the major things like food. Um, my husband did some personal items like today, like he did like the bulky things, the waters, um, the vinegar and diapers and wipes, the big heavy stuff that I I'm not going to be trying to lift and carry being pregnant and then you know I have all the kids so with me so we went to Target today and I had just just so happened to ask um, an employee what's going on with the cinnamon rolls I can't find them in any stores nothing and so he said that um, he doesn't know you know a lot of things are just you know a shortage on like Rice Krispie Treats. They were going to discontinue selling them, but I make those homemade anyway, so it didn't matter. But still, you know, for a family that doesn't make them homemade um, or just convenience for lunches and stuff, it's just an inconvenience, right? So um, I asked him, did they have any cinnamon rolls in the back because the um, coolers were empty? Joshua, put that up. And so um, he said that he saw on his little computer type phone slash thing that they had some in the back so I asked him could he get, grab me three so you know because I didn't want to be greedy and take from everybody else so I grabbed three because it takes two to for my large family and so um yeah so I was going to do the last two days I had taken out the ground turkey because it was a combo pack that we bought at Sam's Club um, some months ago, like I said, so I was going to unthaw both and just cook up both. So that's why I'm showing you two recipes that when you have a combo pack of like ground turkey, ground chicken, um, or a big large pack of ground beef and you don't know what to do with it, you can always cook it ahead and then freeze it or put it in the refrigerator and make a couple of meals out of it. So the two meals that I'm going to show you in the next two days, but will be on one video is, um, turkey. Um, enchiladas and um, turkey sloppy joe yeah and so tonight for dinner I'm doing fried chicken salad and sweet potatoes and some homemade bread I'm just gonna whip up some bread and because that's what we want that's what I have a taste for a good salad and so um, I bought some salad at my filling hall which you'll see that video probably before this one but um, I need to use it up so yeah so sit back and enjoy Getting McDonald's, you have McDonald's for lunch. Mommy is making lunch. I mean, making dinner. You want a salad with cheese? You want a sweet potato? Want some chicken, fried chicken? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 okay. 
Okay, see, that's better than McDonald's, isn't it? It is? So it's better than that cheeseburger you like? It's better than those fries? You want a snack? How many snacks have you had already? What? I'm not gonna do it. Okay. What? Okay, let's get this baby another snack. You want some cheese and crackers? Okay, let's get that baby some cheese and crackers. What are you up to? What you what you doing? You do just your best. Okay. And their opinions and what they want. Always want something. Guys, so it is fresh and clean in my house. Um, I did the grocery haul earlier, which you'll see on a different video. On um, day two of doing, showing you an easy, two easy recipes with a large quantity of meats. Yes, so of course this large quantity of meat that I'm using is ground turkey. Um, I took out, I cooked four pounds of ground turkey yesterday. So I'm gonna show you one recipe today, which is Saturday evening, and tomorrow I'll show you another recipe. Yes, so I've already, did clean my house for the next couple of days. Yeah, so, got my pantry organized. Yeah, so what we're gonna make today is sloppy joe. So, of course, easy, easy, and very inexpensive. Got some buns, you get whatever type buns, or if you're doing a health kick, excuse little cashy, he's playing with his ball. If you're on a health kick, then of course you use whatever type, gluten-free bun, or no bun, lettuce, whatever. But yeah, we're no gluten free here. We need all the fat. We need to do better, but we like the bread. Okay, so um, my kids put up all the groceries. So I've got to locate my ground turkey, and I'm going to take out all the ingredients and show you everything that you will need. Trick. Let me see. Let me see. I see you saying cheese, but show me your trick. Show me what you could do with your ball. Let me see. Let me see. You gonna throw it? Let me see. Let me see you throw it. Throw it. Ooh! Oh! It did so good. Ooh! Y'all, we woke up again to more snow. Most of it has melted, but when I tell y'all it's so cold, it was beautiful this morning, but we had another little small little snowstorm. But nothing, um, nothing major, but I'm just loving it every weekend. The last three weeks, the last three weekends, we have had snow. So I'm like, if it's gonna be cold, I like the snow. <laughs> okay, so for these Swappy Joe, really simple. You already have the ingredients. Um, of course, I've got my ground turkey that I cooked, so I'll use half of this for my large family. Um, I've showed you buns. You'll need a little bit of brown sugar, a bell pepper of choice. I have the six bell peppers that we get from Sam's Club. So I just grabbed one of these and I'm gonna dice it up small. I could do a fresh onion. You can do a fresh onion, but why not? Why you can use some minced chopped onion, some granulated garlic or fresh garlic, whatever floats your boat, some ground black pepper, yes. Some steak seasoning, even though Okay, even though we are doing, we're not doing, typically you, you use ground beef with Sloppy Joe or you can use it whatever meat, but we're still gonna use the same base that I would use with that and you won't taste it as, it won't taste like a steak or beef. I'm using some steak seasoning, you need some chili powder, some paprika, some Worcestershire sauce, some mustard, and some ketchup. And that is it. In a pan, we're gonna throw it together. And I'm pairing mine with some french fries. And yeah, and we're gonna be eating. And it takes literally about 20 minutes for everything. 
um, that's cooking the ground beef or cooking the ground turkey, but we've already cooked it. So all we need to do is warm it up thoroughly and add all our ingredients and let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes and then serve it with some toasted buns and fries. these are the simple ingredients that you will need you need of course your cooked meat um, if it's impossible meat if it's ground chicken ground beef whatever just the large quantity of meat that you did shredded chicken whole chicken whatever but just showing you how to use those and make easy recipes where if you have to open or unthaw a large quantity of meat you can go ahead and cook it and not feel guilty like oh I've it's just gonna go in the freezer and then you forget about it for months and it's like freezer burnt no you can go ahead and make multiple meals out of this okay so I have my two pounds of ground chicken I have of course my shredded sharp cheddar cheese I have two containers of enchilada um, sauce that I like to use this is the brand that I like to use but I also use the El Paso or whatever brand you know I come across but anytime um, I see this brand I always pick this up because they are so flavorful you need one onion some taco seasoning your choice but I like the extra tomato that bites of tomato um, inside of my sauce my meat sauce you need a little bit of cinnamon ground back pepper some a little bit of chili powder some granulated garlic some type of everything seasoning or just salt and pepper if you don't have it and just a little bit of salt and then of course you need tortillas and those are all the ingredients that you will need to make this simple meal and this can be frozen you can make it ahead of time excuse me excuse me excuse me yeah I'm recording yeah uh-huh <laughs> they're just having them a good old conversation during their snack time and it's early it's just 5 18 so I could sit around and relax in between making meals and editing videos and just loving on my babies this Sunday afternoon or whatever your plans were this weekend your meat which takes the longest is ready and knowing that your meat is already cooked whatever type meat beef steak chicken pork turkey whatever um, this recipe only takes 20 minutes in the oven yes all right let's get started
guys. So while I am waiting on the enchiladas to finish in the oven, um, which they are looking good, they got about 10 more minutes. Um, we are having ice cream sundaes for dessert tonight. So this is our first sweet treat of the day. So what we are doing, uh, we're having, I just used these, I had some bowls um, from previous ice cream sundaes and there wasn't gonna be enough. So I just figured instead of wasting clean bowls, because my kids didn't even eat the ice cream bowls, which was so weird. They ate everything out of it and then they threw it away. So I won't be buying these anymore. But um, it's perfect because you could just use these for the toppings. So yeah, so we got chocolate syrup and we've got strawberry whipped cream, but we'll keep that in the refrigerator. I made, of course, everyone loves trolleys. Um, I made homemade strawberry um, topping, the topping that you use, like um, when you find the strawberry shortcake, when you used to buy them at element and buy them in elementary school for like 50 cents that's the homemade and then we'll have bananas and yeah so that is our dessert for after our enchiladas and we're going to pair it with some fries because it's a sunday night meal and we had our veggies today so we're just gonna eat just what we like when we like it i wanted to say also that um, if you don't, like some people may not like ground turkey or never have made ground turkey before, and you may feel like that's not going to taste good. I'm telling you, it will. And in the times that we are living in, you guys, where there is food shortages everywhere, there may come a time where you have to pick a meat to make sure that you and your family are fed, and it could be turkey if you don't like ground turkey. And like I said, they have the lean, which is like the white meat, and then they have the dark meat, which is has a bit more fat in it. And I had like the lean because there was not much fat in it at all. Even when I took it out of the refrigerator and warmed it back up, there was still no fat. So it still tastes good. You cannot tell the difference. It's so delicious. And you just have to be willing to try some things that you may not like, but once you try it, you'll love it. So yes, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up, please like, share, and of course subscribe if you have not subscribed. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.